the initiative to develop African Research Leaders Career Open Day, a measure to build capacity in health research organized by Kemri Wellcome Trust in partnership with African Academy of Sciences, aims to attract university graduates from multiple disciplines towards health research. According to the African Academy of Sciences Program Deputy Director Dr. Alphonsus Neber, such initiatives in the continent are aimed at promoting African-led researchers to solve Africa's health problems. The African Academy of Sciences is the only Pan-African Academy of Sciences that deals with uh, promoting science and development on the continent. Uh, we have as our vision transformed lives. So what we do is we work towards transforming lives on the continent using science, mobilizing resources and uh, partnerships and collaborations and, and, and other resources that we are able to work with, with other stakeholders across the continent and in the, uh, uh, globally. We also provide think tank and advisory services or, or functions in order to shape policies in health and science on the continent. Then thirdly, we are an honorific organization. So we recognize excellence in science through a number of uh, excellent schemes that we implement. IDEAL, the program which is having the open day, is one of the 11 programs. And they cover uh, a, a, a wide spectrum of health research fields, uh, including uh, bioinformatics and genomics, including One Health, that is those diseases that uh, affect humans and they can cross onto animals and vice versa. We deal with um, immunology and infection, we deal with malaria elimination and a whole lot of other areas. Uh, we have other programs again like the H3 Africa. H3 Africa is uh, human hereditary and health in Africa which is looking at the underlying determinants of health genomics so to speak yep. and the environment how all these they affect our health and our resilience as human beings, so to speak. We have other programs which are solely based on promoting postdoctoral education on the continent. So we have about uh, the African Postdoctoral Training Initiative. We have what we call ISA RISE. We have what we call FLAIR. And these are all programs that are providing research opportunities for young and promising early career Africans to pursue research at the highest level on the continent and even outside the continent when that is um, available. The program's aim is to provide quality research training to 20 gifted students within an eight-month internship period rather than those who are financially capable. The aim of the career day is to give uh, young and uh, recent graduates an opportunity to interact with researchers. What you have come to and understand a bit more about a uh, research career yeah. because what we have come to realize is that uh, a lot of the people coming through from uh, our universities often haven't had a chance to really interact with research researchers and many of them don't know what it takes to be to become a researcher or what it uh, a research career entails and part of that it's not their fault is that there are not that many researchers and often there are not that many forums an opportunity where that they can uh, interact with the researchers and so this open day uh, we spend a lot of time telling them a bit about uh, how research is. They get to hear life stories of people who are current researchers, Kenyan researchers, African researchers, and also they get opportunity to ask questions about what being a researcher means, what they're taking up a research career will mean for them, what they need to think about or to consider as they're considering research as a career. The second part is that it is part of a our recruitment process for what you call a postgraduate uh, diploma in health research methods. This is an eight month program that we offer together with uh, Pony University. And it is really a PGD that is focused on experiential learning for research. And so what happens today is that in addition to having the open day, talking about careers, they do get to do just a very short aptitude test. And with that aptitude test, we will then look at the scores and we'll invite the top 60 or so for now face-to-face -face inter interviews. And eventually we'll take uh, about 20 who will come and spend time at our uh, program's facilities in uh, Kilifi and interacting with researchers, being mentored, doing a research project, and uh, also uh, getting teaching from both uh, 
members of the Cameroon Cancer Research Program and uh, Pony University. The Pony University is located in Kilifi and uh, the Cameroon Welcome Trust is also located in Kilifi about two kilometers away. And apart from the physical proximity, the collaboration, we have a formal MOU between the Pony University, which is a chartered public university, and the Cameroon Welcome Trust, which is one of the past titles of um, in the Minister of Health. And uh, the Pony is a young university, you know, which got its charter in 20, 2013. Yeah and Cambridge Marshall uh, over 30 years. And when the university came up, uh, we found the, the mutual kind of interest between the two institutions in terms of, um, here is the research institute whose mandate is largely research, and here is a public university whose mandate is largely training. So, and there's an overlap between these two. And we took advantage of this to sign an MOU with them and to largely collaborate in various areas, but the main one being postgraduate health research training from um, undergraduate to uh, postgraduate diploma, which we will talk a little bit about, to masters, to PhD. And um, to us, this is a, a very unique opportunity and a kind of paradigm, paradigm shift in the country in the sense that many of our institutions, research institutes, the industry, the universities, sit in silos on their own without necessarily talking to each other. Uh -huh. And as we bridged this gap and came up with um, programs that are of mutual interest and mandate between the two institutions and identified postgraduate health research training where the university is mandated to, um, to be in charge of accreditation and quality control in terms of, you know, um, according to the Commission for University Education. And the, the research institute, on the other hand, has got the infrastructure both the physical infrastructure and the human resource. The stakeholders appeal to the government and the private sector for funding and support in order to enhance the outreach of the health research training. For I254 News, I am Abdurazak Ngutia.